night and welcome back to OMG Scrunchy Club. For those of you that are new, welcome to the club. I am the scrunchy creator, Lamiel, and today's look, I am rocking the OMG Scrunchy Barrette or clip that is known as Bella, as well as the OMG Bella Scrunch Earrings. So Bella is this color yellow here. It's a golden yellow. So today, if you clicked on this video, it's because wanted to watch it of course so um, I asked my daughters they have given me a challenge to create scrunchies based off of their favorite youtubers so this one today is Jesse V so if you haven't checked out Jesse V's uh, channel it's a really cool channel that my kids like to watch and she tells a lot of creepy stories also known as creepy pastas I think that's correct so Jesse V if you're watching hello Jesse so today's scrunchie is inspired by none other than Jessie V. And yes, that is her theme song that you heard at the beginning of the video. Okay, so uh, this scrunchie is called the Jessie Scrunchie. And Summer chose this fabric on one of our scrunchie fabric runs. So we have the Jessie that is going to be black. It is a black fabric. It is actually chiffon, so it's very lightweight and transparent or see-through. Uh, with white skeletons, so I'm going to be making the OMG, which is our extra extra large scrunchie out of this one for the video And we have this Jessie that is a light coral color with black skeletons. So this one is very sheer It's chiffon fabric as well So I am going to get started and while you're watching this video make sure you click the bell and notification uh no, the bell is the notification. See, I'm not good at YouTube, but I'm getting there. So make sure that you click the subscribe button and press the bell so that you can be updated with notifications. Also, you can go to omgscrunchyclub.com. The site is now live and active as well. And if you have a favorite YouTuber, please comment down below, give me their YouTube channel, and I can possibly come up with a scrunchie for them. And even if you have your own YouTube page, you can give me some theme ideas for a scrunchie that could be named after you and inspired by you. So do leave that in the comments section below as well. So I have already pre-cut my strips for my scrunchies. Um, I did this off camera so that I can save some time. And I have cut my elastic. So I'm going to go ahead and get my sewing machine set up on the table and we will get started with this Jessie inspired scrunchie. And also this is perfect for those of you that celebrate Halloween because Halloween's coming up. And even for those of you that just like skulls, that think skulls are really cool. So we're going to make this scrunchie today. I'm so excited and thank you for joining me. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my sewing machine set up. I have black thread that I'm going to use for both scrunchie casings. And we are going to start with the OMG Large XXL scrunchie. So you can see that the fabric is see-through. And I chose black elastic to kind of go with the fabric as well. So it looks very good on the inside. So let's get started right now. So as usual when sewing scrunchies, I start with the right sides facing each other. So this is where I put my tag and I put it in down the side, same here. So turn the machine on and we're going to begin sewing. If you have noticed, I did switch sewing machines. Well, I have another sewing machine. I have a brother sewing machine now. Um, I went with a digital. The last sewing machine that I had was not a digital. It was just a quick, cheap sewing machine that I got so that I could get started on my scrunchies. Um, so I switched to this brother digital, and I must say that I am thoroughly enjoying it. So uh, for my next sewing machine I either want to get a Juki or a Janome or if I can find a heavy duty singer that's industrial because I do have this, another singer sewing machine. I have an antique singer sewing machine that's at my parents house as well as I have a singer I'm having a brain for it. I have a singer serger that holds five spoons as well so if I can just keep it in the singer family that would be cool also but I'm not very particular and to one brand versus the other. So 
so I'm going to go ahead and finish sewing my tag in. And it would be nice to have a machine that can cut the thread for me instead of me having to pull it and cut it right here. But for now, this is perfectly fine. So here is the tag in the scrunchie. So now I'm ready to start making the scrunchie. I'm going to move the sewing machine to the side so that you can see how I fold the scrunchies. So I do the two casing for my scrunchies and one thing that I do, I notice some people, they will have this seam line here and fold the seam line in first. this purple mouth. Um, I have a bodkin that's green also. So you can purchase a bodkin from Amazon. I purchased this one from Amazon then I have another one that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. So you're going to take your elastic, sit it in this purple section here which has teeth on it which will clip down on the elastic. So I'll open that up, sit my elastic in, pull the white lever down and it locks the elastic in place. So going to find my hole or the opening on my crunchy casing and I'm going to stick the bodkin in. Make sure on the end where the elastic is hanging out that you hold on to a piece of it or it will go inside. Sometimes my elastic will slip out of my hand and then I have to take the whole bodkin out and refeed the elastic. But to avoid that, try to hold on to it or you can pin it depending on what type of material you have. You can pin it to the material. So I'm going to be 
bleed this all the way through. And I'm going to pull it out in the same exact spot where it was inserted. So right here where this hole is, the black thing should come out. Um, I'm there, I'm there. I just have to get through a little bit of fabric right here. So there we go. I pulled it, pulled it through and I'm going to it. So I like to tie my elastic and I like to sew it. So I'm going to tie it. And pull it so what I suggest if you're trying to use elastic for your scrunchie, figure out a size or length of elastic that you like best for your scrunchies. Um, right now this elastic here is black and it's a 3 8 braided black elastic. And if you want to know the difference in the stretches of the elastic, you can check out my elastic video for scrunchie elastic. That will show you the difference in the types of elastic. So that is done. I am going to sew this up and start sewing the casing for the Jesse Light Coral Scrunchie. So I'm going to put my sewing machine back on the table and get started with that right now. Okay, so now it's time to do the Light Coral Scrunchie. So I will do the same thing with this. Uh, put the fabric like sides together. Well, um, front facing sides together first. So that's what I'm doing, it's a little off camera. And I'm going to start with the side seam where I will insert my tag. So this one will be the mini scrunchie, the OMG mini. So I'm going to lay that there, change my needle position and get my tag ready so I have my tag here so that I can put into my scrunchie. So I'm going to do a video on tags um, because there are different types of tags that you can use and for those starting out you can use tags that you can make at home so I have some tips for making tags as well so let's get ready to sew this seam right here. Since this uh, fabric is a lighter color, I am going to actually snip these loose black strings. I didn't do it on the other one because it's black. So I'm going to snip these because you will be able to see these threads inside of the scrunchie. And you don't want like the straggly threads just scrunching around inside of your scrunchie. So I'm going to move my sewing machine aside again. And we're going to stretch this casing out like we did last time. Stretch the casing, I flip it over so that the seam is towards the bottom. Fold the top in towards the center as well as the bottom. So I like to line up my seams first, right here in the middle. I line those up and then I clamp it down. Make sure everything's tucked in. And I'm going to start on the left side over here. So I'm not sure if it's reversed in the camera, but it is my left side. So I'm going to put the sewing machine back on the table. And begin. So I'm going to lift my thread. Now lay my foot down, my presser foot. And of course the machine will backstitch for me. So I just press down lightly and it backstitches for me. Okay, so sometimes I like more than one backstitch. So I'm going to do that two times. And another backstitch. And we're ready, we're off. Let's go, here we go. So 
I made it to the end. And this scrunchie as well. And I left an opening right here. So there's an opening so that I can pull the elastic through. I'm sorry, not the elastic, pull the scrunchie casing out from itself. So if you have bigger fingers or big fingers in general, um, you may want to leave a bigger space so that you can stick your pointer and your thumb inside to grab the fabric. So I'm pulling, pulling, pulling through. So I pulled the scrunchie through the casing and I'm going to take my elastic and my bodkin again and feed it through the scrunchie. through, have the elastic out through the other side again, release the bodkin, release the bodkin. Okay, so now I'm going to tie my elastic one more time for this one. Remember, you can you do. So now my scrunchie's tied, I'm going to lift the machine back up. We're going to sew the elastic together and I am going to sew the casing closed. So I'm back stitching over the elastic. I did a forward stitch already. So I'm back stitching. I have to wait patiently for it to get back to the beginning. And then I'll stitch over it again. So I try to do that like two to four times just to make sure that you have double safety for your scrunchie. Okay, so now I'm just going to stretch the scrunchie. Once again, this is the Jessie Scrunchie inspired by YouTuber Jessie V. So check out her channel, uh, Jessie V YouTube channel. Um, I am not friends with her, but it would be cool if I could be. But hey, that's another story for another day. So here is the Jessie in black, which is the XXL size in the Jessie um, OMG Mini. So we have the OMG XXL and the OMG Mini. Um, I will go through and trim off all of these loose threads here. So here you have it. So let's lay these out on the table so that you can get a good look at it. So I want to thank you again for watching my YouTube video today and thank you for tuning in, subscribing, and hopefully you have registered on the website omgscrunchyclub.com. And once again, this is the Jesse XXL OMG Scrunchy in black and light coral. And on this hand, I have the OMG Mini Jesse Scrunchies. So here's a comparison of the two. And once again, at any time, if you have a, my light just went out again. I knew it was one thing. Once again, if you have a YouTube subscriber or some inspirational scrunchie that you'd like for me to create, um, please let me know and leave that in the comment section. I have a few more YouTubers that my daughters have given me um, to do YouTube inspirational or inspired scrunchies by these particular YouTube channels. So coming up soon, hopefully if I find the materials for some of those, I will do those as well. Also, I am going to be posting a tags video that will be coming up soon. I may post it today or shoot it today and post it later this week as well as some other videos. And at any time, if you have any questions about scrunchies or starting a scrunchie business, let me know. Um, so I think that's about it. So have a great day and thanks for watching again. Bye-bye.